After the Seattle City Council's contentious vote Tuesday, an ordinance that will allow the Seattle City Attorney's Office to prosecute public drug use and possession cases has now been signed by Mayor Bruce Harrell. I want downtown cleaned up. I want people sheltered. I don't want to physically see people killing themselves, is what this synthetic drug crisis is doing. Today, the mayor toured Evergreen Treatment Services in Seattle with City Attorney Ann Davison. He acknowledges that more resources are needed for people facing addiction. No, I don't think that's going to be a sufficient amount given the magnitude of the problem we're trying to address. And he says more resources are coming. The law includes a $27 million investment to help connect people with treatment. $7 million will help fund treatment facilities, including a potential post-overdose center. And $20 million will go toward enhanced services. And we'll continue to work with the county and the state to get as much resources as possible. The new law instructs Seattle police to create policies that make diversion and treatment the priority when upholding the drug use law rather than jail time and to look at the threat of harm a person using drugs presents. I have zero desire to arrest a person that is killing themselves. The city didn't elect that mayor. City Attorney Davison says her office is ready to prosecute the cases that are needed, but are looking at other options as well. We do have a mental health court. Uh, someone has to be competent and, and capable to opt into it. Uh, could we broaden that as one part of the conversation? The mayor says this new law is just one piece of a bigger plan to help addicts and improve public safety. Hopefully what we'll see in 30 days is a unified and coordinated response, balancing the need for a health approach, a compassion approach, and making lawful constitutional arrests when necessary. The mayor says data regarding this law will be available to the public. People can see how many arrests have been made, how many cases have been diverted, and how many people have been sent for treatment. In Seattle, Connor Board, King 5 News.